X Ventures Family Challenge. Proudly brought to you by EcoStore. Helping you choose a better tomorrow for your family. We've travelled the length and breadth of the country to find families to take part in this amazing challenge. 16 families battled it out over four heats, with eight families going through to the semi-finals, all fighting for a place in the finals and a shot at the inaugural X Venture Family Challenge trophy and $25,000. There'll be twists and turns, some highs and lows, fun and games. We're looking forward to seeing how families grow improve and develop along the way. <laughs> Families will need to be resilient, adapt to change, be aware of and manage their emotions throughout in order to win the game. This is all ahead of us on the X Venture Family Challenge brought to you by EcoStore. Hey families, welcome back. Yay! <laughs> How about this? Yeah. Jaw-dropping beauty for the semi-final of the X Venture Family Challenge brought to you by EcoStore. It is great to see you. Well, families, you don't need me to tell you. At the end of three challenges, two teams will advance to the final to play for $25,000 in cash. Ooh. But that is three challenges away. Two teams, and this is the bit that hurts, will have to go home and leave the family challenge, which we hate, because we've got to know you pretty well, and you're all awesome. First things first, let me tell you about challenge number one. It's called weights and measures. I'm going to reveal to you a number of items. Some of these items you're gonna to get to hold, to touch, others you're just allowed to look at, and that's all. And then I'll ask you a series of questions about those said items. You'll have to answer those questions, write them down, and then show me. And the people that get the answers that are most accurate will win the most amount of points for the challenge. Every point, as you know, is simply critical at this stage. So should we play weights and measures? Yeah! Let's do it! Yeah. This week, we're up for an epic battle. We are Team Mussin! In week one, Team Mussin started slowly with Barry's famous fireman's lift but nudged themselves into a semi-final spot after a fantastic team performance in the drone slalom. Well, well. We're the Brown family. The Browns from Tauranga took our top spot in week two, showing how a calm disposition is significant in all high-performing teams. Week three saw Team Holland from Whangaparua overcoming a highly pressurised situation. Winning the game of drones to move up the scoreboard and win a spot in the semis. We're team in week four, we saw the engaging enthusiasm and togetherness of the Myohas from Russell. Too good, my man. Well done. Making them the clear winners of that round. Okay. Go, Dad. Yep. <laughs> Whilst there is little to separate the teams on aggregate, resilience and EQ scores, both Team Holland and Brown have slightly lower scores in external communication, which could play a part if things get tough. So the first item, you have to guess the weight in grams of these roasted nuts. Write down your answer if you would, please. Guess the weight of those roasted nuts. Probably 180 somewhere in there. On three, reveal your answers. One, two, three. The exact weight was 160, so the mohas to the closest, you get the point. You get the point. I told you 150. A little bit heavy down there, Greg. A little bit heavy. 250. Right. You have to guess how many dried banana chips in this jar. Have a look at it. 14 times 4, so I've got about 56. First guess was 175, wasn't it? Five seconds. It's like 60 banana chips. And time. On three, I want you to reveal the numbers you've written down. One, two, three. Let me have a look. Team Brown, there were 55 oh. banana chips in there. So that is one point for Team Brown. 
So, round three, write down how much you think this item costs. Granola. Is that on special? <laughs> it's not on special. <laughs> Standard price, Phil. Maybe we go with nine. Nine dollars. Nine twenty-five. Right, time's up. On three, I want you to reveal the numbers you've written down. One, two, three. Nine seventy-five. Twelve ninety-five. Thirteen ninety-nine. Oh, it's going. going up as we go down the line. Oh, it's gonna be twenty-five bucks by the time we get to the Hollands. <laughs> yep, you got it. Right, Team Holland, please reveal your price. Right up here. Oh, right, it is. Fourteen fifty. Oh. It was eleven dollars eighty. So Team Brown with twelve ninety-five. Another point. Another point on the board. Wow. Round three. How many ingredients can you identify in this granola? Only twenty seconds to identify. Starting from now. How many ingredients? Three, four, five, six. Time's up. Move that bowl on, Angela. Team Brown. And time. Team Musson. And time. And finally, the Holland family. And time's up. All right, teams. We're going down the line. Here we go. We're going to start with the Mailha family. It's a six. You've confused. It is a six. It is a six. All right. Yeah. Team Brown, how many ingredients did you identify? Seven. Let's move to the mighty Musson family. Oh, Ooh. seven. Ooh. Team Holland, is this your event? How many ingredients, Louis? Oh. Six. <laughs> two sixes and two sevens. In that granola were rolled oats, almonds, sunflower seeds, raisins, rice malt, palm vegetable oil, sesame seeds, oh, salt, oh, and that. dried apricots, nine in total. So Team Brown and Team Musson with seven each, you each get a point. We'll give you a point each for that, which means the Browns are now on three. The Mussons are in the game. Let's reveal the next item. And because I'm wild and crazy, we're going to start with the Holland family, get you in the game. Oh, thank you. A bar of soap hasn't been used, hasn't touched my body. <laughs> you have to tell me how many grams in that bar of soap. Seven. How much does that weigh? I reckon 80. I reckon 80. <laughs> I was going to say 50. 100 grams per minute. Nice. Thank you. 100 grams per minute. Right. Okay, teams. Team Holland, we all want you in this game. 115 grams. Let's look at the Musson. Okay, Mus. oh, Samantha, oh. 70 grams. Right, Team Brown, 55. Finally, Team Mailha, 125 grams. You want to know? You're desperate to know. Yeah. Greg's terrified. Tara's looking at me, begging me. <laughs> I'll put you out of your misery. You haven't got it. No, of course we haven't. The Mussons. Oh. <laughs> With 70 grams, the actual weight is 82 grams. Oh, yeah. In this little box is some apple cider vinegar. All you have to do is write down true or false to what I say. Apple cider vinegar can be used as a deodorizer, a weed killer, treatment of acne, and getting rid of fleas. Is that true or false? Used for all those four things, true or false? Vinegar will sort out weeds. Right, are you all set? Yep. What have you written? True or false? True. 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 <laughs> and we'll go with. Everybody true. Else. <laughs> Do you know what? Every single one of you is right. Yeah! Well done. The Hollands are on the board. Let me recap the scores. The Hollands are on one. Yeah. 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 Go on that one. The Mussons are on three. Yeah. The Browns with a slight edge on four. Yeah. And the Milehas on two. Woo. Yeah. This is the final item to be revealed, and it is double points. <gasps> double oh. points. What is the cubic size in centimetres of this box? Just this box. You can see the depth and the width. How many cubic centimetres in this box? We've got a couple of builders in the gangs here. Look at Barry. Look at that. 
How many cubic centimetres? We've got to multiply three of them together. Go, go. Let me, let me do this for a second. So width, depth and length. Five seconds. Write your answers down, yep. pens down. We're going to start at the end, Team Holland. No, we're not. No. Uh, right, 180 centimetres cubed. Mate, this is not a strong subject, OK? I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Team Musson is at 259.2 centimetres cubed. Right. Team Brown, reveal. So 80,000 centimetres cubed. Team Moha. Gavin, you're a builder. <laughs> I'm hoping it's something around there. That. that one. 312.5 centimetres cubed. The actual cubic centimetres, 49,894.5 centimetres with 80,000 cubic centimetres. Team Brown have got it. Oh my God. That's, right. That's good. Well done. So, Gavin, I've just got to ask you that question. How did that go so badly wrong? Uh, yeah. Um... I think I could hear the ocean calling me. <laughs> the ocean was calling. The ocean was calling. The Browns easily taking out the weights and measures challenge over the Mussons with the Mayohas in third and the Hollands in fourth. Challenge two up next on the X Venture Family Challenge brought to you by EcoStore. Welcome back to the X Venture Family Challenge brought to you by EcoStore. So, families, challenge number two of the all-important semi-final. I mean, how good is this location? Is oh, yeah, good? yeah. We really have some amazing beaches in this country, but even here in the gorgeous New Zealand, our beaches are littered with rubbish. So we're going to do something about it. This next challenge is called Beach Tidy. Team members need to take it in turns to collect an item of rubbish that's attached to a line positioned in the ocean. They must return to the beach and place it in their bin before the next team member goes. The fastest team to collect all 20 items gets the maximum points. All right, families. Yeah. First team home with 20 items will be declared the winner. Three, two, one, go, go for it. Each team has three lines of rubbish attached from rope floating between two boys. The quicker they untangle the rubbish, the quicker they get back to tag the next team member. Teams Holland, Brown and Mayoha all have one piece already. Sam for Team Musson stuck trying to get the first piece of rubbish off. Good deal. Break the band. And it looks like Team Musson are finally off the mark. Gavin powering in for Team Mayoha as Maya returns for the Hollands. All the teams looking very even, with the Browns narrowly in front with three pieces of rubbish. Uncle Barry's in as Alex is off. Georgia keeps things moving with the third piece for Team Brown. Maya and Grace are heading back in now for another round. The Mayohas have edged in front with five pieces of rubbish collected. The Browns and Hollands not far behind with the Mussons, one piece off the pace. Some of these items are tricky to untangle, much trickier than others. Caleb struggling to free the rubbish from the rope, so decides to tackle another one instead. Heading back up the beach for Team Brown. Tara's found one method to collect the rubbish. Just yank it out. Go, Mum! <laughs> Phil tries to free the rubbish that Caleb was stuck on in the last round and gets it done. There it is! There it is! The Mayo has still in front of the Browns. The Hollands are one back with the Mussons hot on their tail. The teams have collected their rubbish from the first line of rope. The next line of rope is further out and in waist deep water. Just that little bit harder to get through. Teams are starting to tire now, but still, you can see giving it their all. You've got two more to go. Go, three. The Browns and Mayohas are neck and neck with 16 pieces of rubbish. The Hollands are one back with 15, the Mussons on 14. This is going to be a frantic finish. Teams are going deeper to collect the rubbish from the last rope. The Browns look like they've edged ahead of the Mayohas as they both head for the last piece of rubbish. This will be close. Georgia looks like she might have it for Team Brown as she steams up the beach. Go! We're done! We're done! We're done.
aid from the Mayoha family is so close behind, but it will only be enough for second. Kate digs in to run up the beach. The Mayohas are in as the race for third begins. Team Holland just in front of Team Musson. But where's that last piece for Tara? This is the last one. Go, Sammy! Tara's now desperately checking all the lengths of rope. Sam has found her piece for Team Musson. It looks, though, like the last piece has come loose during the challenge. I reckon they've knocked that off accidentally. It is absolutely tragic for Team Holland. Here comes Sam Musson heading for home with the last piece of rubbish. What an incredible finish as the Mussons run up the beach to take third. Great work from Team Musson. That is a dreadful shame for Team Holland. There's no more on the ropes. Team Holland, that was a tough challenge, Greg, eh? Yeah, it was fun. Was it fun? Yeah, no, I enjoyed that. Tell me about the end there. There was a few little hiccups along the way. Well, we thought we had everything. Right. And we had a bit, a bit of a count and then, yeah, one missing, but we, we honestly went back and had a look and we think we got them all, but oh, we'll okay. see. Let's see the scores after the break and then the last challenge to win a place in the final. Welcome back to the X-Venture Family Challenge brought to you by EcoStore. Morning, families. Morning. Two challenges down in the second semi-final. So Beach Tidy was anything but tidy, as it turns out. It got pretty messy toward the end. But one thing's for darn sure. It was very clear who came in first and picked up maximum points. Team Brown, 10 points. Well done. Yes. Pretty clear who came in second spot. Team Moha, eight points. Very well played. Things started to unravel a little by the time we got to third and fourth. So it was really interesting because Team Holland, you were clearly ahead of the Mussons in terms of the time. You were going so well. Mussons looking really good, but then unfortunately, one of your items drifted off. And Greg, it, it may have been dislodged, not saying who did it, but Greg, it was you. So, um, so unfortunately, only 19 items collected, even though you were clearly ahead of the Mussons. However, the Mussons have come to us and they saw what happened and have very generously suggested that you both share third place, Aww. which is a pretty nice thing to do. Thank you so much. Thank you, mate. The Browns are on the top of the table with 20 points and the Mayohas and Mussons are equal second. So whoever finishes higher between these teams will certainly go through to the final. This is all to play for. So now, the final challenge. Remembering at the end of this, two teams will go to the final and play for $25,000. Two teams, sadly, will have to leave Eagle's Nest. So let me tell you about challenge number three. It's called Calm Waters. But one suspects at the end of the challenge, it's going to be anything but <laughs> calm. <laughs> yeah. Two locked boxes located at the bottom of the pool hold a set of instructions. Teams find their blue box first, pass it to the team leader who unlocks it and then completes the puzzle, which is their family photo on the console. Under pressure, can the teams deal with an overload of information? Next up, it's the team's red box, which tells them to build their highest tower of coloured blocks on a pontoon, all with the added pressure of time. Teams all set? Yes! yes. Yep. Final challenge for two teams. Your time starts now. Go, guys, go, guys. They're in, look at that. It actually looks beautiful. It's a frantic start in the pool as teams search for their first lockbox. Georgia has found the first box for Team Brown. Go, Beza. The Mussons have found theirs, so have the Mayohas. Grace is calling out instructions. Sarah's going nuts in the pool. The Hollands are last to get their box back to Tara. Inside the box is instructions to the first challenge. It's a puzzle that all the dry team members must complete before teams can go ahead onto the next lockbox. All teams now working on their puzzle. It is very close. Christine is first to complete the puzzle for Team Brown. They're now diving for their second lockbox. Gavin Mile has still on the puzzle as the Hollands dive for their second lockbox. Team Musson are next onto their second lockbox. 
Gavin desperately trying to get it finished. Can they come from behind? Christine struggling to understand the instructions as the Hollands pass them and start to build their tower. So, I have to give you this and you have to have it at least two metres from the edge. Hang on. The Mussons next in the water and it looks like the Mayohes have caught up. The Browns finally enter the water. Good work, Sarah. Go, Baz. Go, Sammy. Remember, teams have to build the highest freestanding tower that must be standing unassisted when the time is up. Four minutes to go. I think they're going to get there. The Mussons Tower is starting to take shape here. And I think they're going to do it. Team Holland opting for a wider base. This is all about strategy. You don't want your tower to topple when the time is up. You look great, Team Musson. One minute, teams. It looks like the male has a building their tower from the water. With all the pressure, the anxiety, the stress to do well, you've got to go from the bottom. Team Musson doing super well. If that tower topples now, game over for them. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five seconds. Three. Two. One. Time. Team Musson's tower crashes into the water, as does the Hollands. That is simply devastating for these two lovely teams. Good job. Families. Well, that was calm waters in name only, wasn't it? What a challenge. Brown family. 16 blocks. Yeah. Myoha family. 16 blocks. <laughs> First equal, you guys, you pick up 10 points apiece. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. And they were crucial. Yeah. Mustn family, you had it going on, and right at the end, it toppled your tower. You picked up 13 blocks, you claimed third, six points. <laughs> and the Holland family went for the tall tower, one set of blocks, and it was all good for a while, and oh so close. Oh, so it toppled, you ended up with seven blocks, you pick up four <laughs> points. So. Yay! so that means after three challenges, overall the two teams advancing to the final for the X-Venture Family Challenge, the Browns with 30 points and the Milehouse with 24 Yay! points go through the final. Oh, Angela's going to cry, Ange, aren't you? Look, oh, that's lovely. You deserve to be there. Let's go, my oh. Sadly, though, it does mean for Team Musson and Team Holland, we're going to have to say goodbye. And really sad to see you go. We are going to give you a beautiful gift bag from Eco Store, so you'll be looking gorgeous, protecting the environment for years to come. But Tara, have you enjoyed your time? Yeah, it's been fantastic. It's been a real experience. What was one of the highlights for you? Realising I could actually fly a drone, actually. <laughs> yes. yeah. And you really could. I could. You were great. Yeah, I think I surprised the whole family. Well, we'll miss you. You're just a great family, so thank you for being on the, on the show. Okay. We've loved it. And Barry, Sarah, Alex, Sammy, it's, it's done for you guys. Barry, your memories of the show? Oh, just the, the, uh, the friendship of all the families we've met along the way. It's been great. Yes. Terrific. Yeah. yeah. Yep. What's the thing you'll miss? Uh, families. Uh, you, Simon. Breakfast. <laughs> I've always loved you, Sarah. Oh, no. Cook breakfast. Cook breakfast. <laughs> well, we're sad to see you guys go as well because I know you've made a great connection, all four families. So we wish you well. We thank you so much. We wish you well. See you guys in the final. Thank you. Yeah. Well done. Good on you, Louis. Meeting all these families, you know, we've bonded particularly tightly with the two or three of these families, and that that's amazing, you know. To, we've only been here such a short time, but we really have got to know people really, really well, and we are definitely keeping in touch with these people. So um, really, that's, that's incredible. Yeah, genuine, genuine relationship that we've built, and you know, feel like we've known them for yeah. for months rather than a few matter of days. That was unexpected, but such a fantastic um, gift, really. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's a good concept and it uh, makes us all think and uh, communicate and just work together. So um, it's, it's good for opening up communication channels, uh, thinking, thinking about what other people are up to, how people are, other people are feeling and how they react in challenges. So it's, it's a really neat concept.
really enjoyed it.